Hi patrons, I want to invite you into class today. In a situation that's heating up, and I know an attack is imminent, but he's not had time to raise his hands. I'm going to use this sucker technique that I've taught many times. That's the iron palm strike to the face or the neck, followed by the iron palm strike to the back of the head and then chop to throw the guy away. So, before he can raise his guard, strike, strike, strike. One, two, three. One, two, three. You have to take a different strategy when hands are raised. Because this is immediately going to get blocked, no matter how the person knows. Now, you might, I'm fast enough, I can usually get that second strike in. That's my technique that's never failed me, I mentioned. I've used for 40-some years. But, there's better ways around that. I would use the seven-star hook, hold, and strike. So, it looks like this. Hands are up. Boom! I pop in. That's very similar to the seven star millstone palm, which is coming here, coming here, and chopping. So, one, two, three. Now, the reason this came up in our discussion was because I was talking about this hair grab that we use in Mei Wa Lu. And that plays perfectly off of the millstone palm technique. One, two, three, then it immediately comes in here. Okay? So, now because John has short hair, I'm not actually taking the hair like that's called in the form. I'm just hooking the neck. So, here, here, strike. And then that transforms into this. So, very simple technique and a very nice way to play off of that technique. So to review, here are the three methods. If hands are down and I sense danger is imminent, I fly in and strike with the iron palm, strike with the iron palm, and then chop the man away. If hands are up, tempers are flying, then seven star, usually this is a, the person punches, I hook, hold, and strike. I never do it that way. Because again, I'm the bull in the china shop. I'm going to initiate the action. As soon as hands are up, boom! Hook, hold, and strike. And me, I'm usually going to strike right into the eye socket. Second thing, hands are up, millstone palm. One, two, three. Then I'll go into the technique from Mei Lu. Let's do it on the other side. So one, hands are down. I fly in, strike, strike, chop. Second, hands are up, go, low, tray. Third, millstone palm. One, two, three, grab, step, and toss. So, those are three strategies. Whether you're fighting from a blitz in with the opponent's hands down, or he's ready for you, and you need to take out this lead arm. Now, I want you all to sort of notice every time I take out the lead arm, whether it's go low tray or whether it's millstone palm, you'll see how I turn his body. In both cases, this becomes an iron palm to the elbow to turn his body and open him up to whatever I want to strike. You see, I can even insert an elbow there. But the idea, that's very important. In Mantis, we never just hook. Because that's still a weapon. He can fold that right into me. Exactly. So I always want to 
take control of that elbow, which takes control of his torso, which opens him up to my next strike. Okay, thank you.